So I want to talk to you about platelet-rich plasma therapy, uh, otherwise known as PRP, which has gained a lot of traction most recently because it's been used with professional athletes for various types of problems. In orthopedics, we've been able to utilize uh, PRP uh, to address situations that in the past have required surgery. And so this has been a useful tool to use between conservative management and surgery. What PRP is, is a procedure that takes place in the office. Essentially, we're going to draw your blood, put it into a centrifuge that spins and separates the, the platelets and a little bit of white blood cells and uh, some of the plasma and really take this platelet rich plasma concentration and inject that back into uh, the patient uh, in a very focused specific area uh, usually under the guidance of some type of imaging such as ultrasound. This can be done into partial tendon tears, ligament tears, cartilage injury, even osteoarthritis. And that's going to take place all in one day within about 45 minutes. The objective is to regrow uh, or heal tissue that is not healing or is not growing. In each platelet lives these things called alpha granules. These alpha granules contain all of the growth factors that you need to heal or grow tissue. But there's still a secondary part to this, a very important step, which is uh, physical therapy and some of the other modalities that uh, really help to make use of the ingredients. There is some pain involved with the injection. For about three days, you have this uh, inflammatory response going on because your body's trying, with the help of the platelets, to regrow tissue. So there's an inflammatory response. That lasts maybe three to five days, and then uh, you go into the second phase of healing relatively quickly, which is the proliferative or repair phase of healing. Um, that process takes uh, about three to four weeks, and then you go into the remodeling phase, which takes up to two more weeks. So you're looking at about six weeks before you get the optimum results from the first PRP injection. At that point, you are brought back in, reevaluated, and if you have gotten complete relief or resolution uh, of the symptoms from the first injection, we're not going to re-inject you. But if you're about 50% better, we talk to you about a second injection. Maybe we can get you to 80, 90, 100% better. Uh, if it has not worked, then we have to consider other treatment options. There's a large sample size of patients who have had this done and have had fantastic results. Uh, certainly, uh, the results are not guaranteed, just like any other treatment, including surgery. You cannot guarantee success, uh, but uh, the research is very promising. I've used it in situations where um, patients uh, wanted to get back to work quicker, uh, and so it can be appropriate in that setting. But uh, we have to be careful. It's not a panacea. Um, there are indications uh, and contraindications. Um, there's times when uh, it should not be used. There's times when uh, you really have to fix something surgically and performing a PRP would be inappropriate. So I think that uh, those decisions are best left up to the healthcare professionals. So this semi-conservative type of, type of procedure uh, that you walk in and walk out the same day and you get better. And so uh, it's a very nice option.